So many moms feel that pressure, right? That pressure of perfection. Are we doing enough? Are we doing too much? Well, one mom thinks what we really need is less serious and more fun. If a stranger came up to you and said, I'm your mom's friend and she sent me to pick you up, what would you say? You're a liar because my mom doesn't have any friends. <laughs> she made it her goal on social media to highlight the humor in motherhood. She says that imperfections are normal. In fact, they are what make us perfect. Dancing queen and relatable Instagram mom, Aubrey Gustafson, joins me to share how we can find more humor in our imperfections. Mom doesn't have any friends? Oh, no friends. Poor mom, no <laughs> friends. Nice to meet you, nice so to nice meet to you have too. you. And I love this, this mantra or this theme that you've taken on. How did you stumble into it, the idea of being the imperfect mom? Well, well, first of all, thank you for having me. You bet. This is so fun. Our honor. Well, it, it all started two years ago, surprise, surprise. The <laughs> pandemic hit, and my brother and I were actually talking at the time of wanting to start a business. Yeah. Um, I have always loved dancing. I was getting on social media at the time, and I noticed because social media portrays an unrealistic lifestyle, mm -hmm. um, I was finding myself feeling down and feeling like I was an Im imperfect mom. I think sometimes we walk around feeling this pressure of being perfect. Mm -hmm. So I decided to start making videos of the imperfections of me as a mom I love by it. using humor. <laughs> I love it. It's a beautiful combination. You're right. So needed. It's funny. We haven't quite been able to separate what we see on social media in the way that maybe our moms did with what they saw in those glossy magazines, even yes. though they're very much the same, depending yes. on the account you're looking at. There was this quote you shared recently, and I'd love you to expound on it. While imperfection is important, I think it's equally important to understand that your imperfections are what make you perfect. How do you go from imperfection yes. to perfect? Explain the connection for us. Well, again, I think social media tends to portray an unrealistic lifestyle. Yeah. I find that one of the beautiful things of this world is all the different and unique personalities. Mm -hmm. I mean, why hide that? The good, the bad, the ugly are imperfections. I think sometimes what I might see as imperfect somebody else might see as perfect. And so totally. why hide that? It makes it fun. You're right, personality, it's hard, to, it's hard for personality to punch through perfection. Exactly. It really is, exactly. because perfection is kind of unilateral, it's all yeah. the same, there's this prescribed idea of what it should look like and sound like, so in order for personality to come through, it's gotta be imperfect. Exactly. Now you mentioned your dancing. Yes. You're a dancing mama, you're a dancing <laughs> queen, and I told Aubrey during the commercial break, I went down the rabbit hole that is your Instagram, this bright, happy, light-filled place, and with the dancing videos, there's a lot of people dancing right now, and I think yes. it's really hard to not fit into the category of, look at me, look at me, yes. but your videos, first of all, they're unique for a couple of reasons. You do them with your daughter. Yes. So fun. So and fun. second, I just get joy and fun. I don't get a look at me vibe. I just get this, we're having fun and we're trying to spread our light with you. I love it. I love it. It's been so much fun to dance with her. So easy, so natural. And I've always had a passion for dancing. Yeah, you're good. Oh, well, thank I you. I mean, you are. <laughs> I'll just say it. Well, and it's just fun because I get to share that passion with my kids. And it just makes it fun. I feel like we've been able to connect more by doing that yeah. together. Well, I mean, moving beyond a game of shoots and ladders, we need that levity in our homes, right? Yeah. We need that fun yeah, connection up. with our kids. Yeah. So how does a dance video go down? Do you go to your daughter and say, I want to do it this way? Or does she come to you oh with ideas? Oh my gosh, it's both ways. Sometimes yeah. she's the one directing me and like telling me what to do. So it, it's just fun. We have a lot of fun doing it. You, The word survive pops up a lot yes. in, the, in the messaging you yes. share. Like you want to help moms survive. How do you feel like, Aubrey, you make the jump though from survive to thrive? Because I see you thriving in this role yes. of motherhood. So how can you make that leap? Well, that is such a good question. And I get asked these questions all the time. And I would just say, you know, as moms, I feel like sometimes we lose ourselves when we start having kids. We forget who we are. And, you know, I feel like just bringing those gifts out that we were born with, that we mm. have, sharing those gifts. Our kids want to see it, and they and they need to see those gifts. Yeah. And I feel like, I know for me, in my experience, by doing that, it's made me and my kids closer together. A parenting expert years ago on this very set uh, said the line, show them your cartwheels, which I thought was yes. such a cute way to say, like, Love show it. them your gifts, share your gifts, share yes. your personality, everything we're talking about. You did a really funny reel on uh, the fact that you can pretty much make your teens mad just by breathing, yes. right? <laughs> that, that any little thing mom does can set them off. So talk to me about yes. how you forged that connection with your kids, because I can see and, and feel yes. it's there. I think just staying connected with your kids is huge. Yeah. Um, open, open communication, and just understanding that they're still young, they're still learning. They're growing up in a much different world than what we're growing up in. And so by understanding that, 
it's easier for me to communicate with my kids, and especially my teenager. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Be a lifeline for me, will you, when I yes, get to that stage? Exactly. I've still got the littles, but I'm kind of getting nervous about what's to come. You know, as we throw out this big idea or this ideal of embracing imperfection, I always like to try to backtrack and see how we got there. And we know, yes. you know, themes or mantras or ideas are really built by little habits or uh -huh. rituals. Mm -hmm. Are there any habits in your day, daily to-dos oh, that yes. you can pinpoint that allow you to get to that place of, I'm okay being imperfect? Yes, absolutely. One, breathe. Breathe. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes take a time out for yourself. That's yeah. okay. Yeah. Go in a separate room. Take a moment. Breathe. I also think journaling. Journaling is like mm. therapy for me. And my way of journaling is by doing videos. I love looking back at videos I did a year ago, two years ago. My kids and I just giggle, like looking at those because every video has a memory that has come along with it. And then connecting with other moms, um, mm. talking about our day-to-day -day parenting tips that we have for each other. Mm -hmm. Makes it fun. Well, you, you, you bring that. You feel that from what you share on Instagram, so thanks for bringing it to our studio today. Thank you. How can we connect and see more of those moves? Oh, get on my Instagram. It's Imperfect Mom of Four, and you'll see me on there. You'll see lots of dancing, lots of fun, humorous stuff. Does the hubby dance? We're getting there. We're getting <laughs> okay. there. Wear them down, right? Yes. One reel at a time. Nice yes, to meet day. you. Thank nice you to so have much. you, Aubrey. Thank you so much.